Welcome to our cowboy boot quilt block tutorial. We recently used this block as a lottery block during our scrap roundup quilt camp. They were fun to make and fast too, with just three fabrics needed. From a background fabric, you need to cut one rectangle that measures four inches by six and a half inches and five squares that measure one and a half inches by one and a half inches. From the boot fabric, you need to cut two rectangles that are two inches by six and a half inches, one rectangle that's five and a half by two and a half, and one square that measures one and a half inches by one and a half inches. You will want to pay attention to the width and height of the pieces if using a directional fabric. It would also be cute to do some fussy cutting to some of these pieces to make use of fun prints or designs. For the heel fabric, cut one rectangle that's one inch by six and a half inches and one square that's two and a half inches by two and a half inches. Unless directed otherwise, use quarter inch seam allowances for piecing the boot block. We're gonna start by drawing a line from corner to corner on the wrong side of all the one and a half inch squares. Or if you have diagonal seam tape, you can use that as your guide instead. With the right sides together, place the one and a half inch square of the boot fabric on the bottom corner right side of the four by six and a half inch background piece. And then you're gonna sew corner to corner to get that bottom connecting corner. I like to chain stitch the parts of the block to streamline piecing and save threads. So once I get this done, I'm just gonna start feeding more pieces through and just keep sewing. Next is to add a background square to the two and a half inch heel square fabric. Next, we're gonna add a background one and a half inch square to the five and a half inch by two and a half inch boot fabric rectangle. Place the two inch by six and a half inch boot fabric rectangles side by side. Place a background square onto each of the rectangles. One is in the upper left corner, one is in the upper right corner. We're gonna sew corner to corner on both of these pieces and they should mirror each other when finished. Find the five and a half inch by two and a half inch boot rectangle piece and add the last one and a half inch background square connector corner onto the same side as the first one. Then it's time to trim all the excess fabric from the connector corners. Trim the seams to one quarter inch seam allowances and press. I pressed towards the darker fabric, but you can press towards the corner or press open. There are no seams to match up to other seams at this point, so press the way that fits you best. For my boot, I chose a dark fabric for the boot and the heel, and then a light background, but I saw some boots at the camp that were made with a dark background and light colored boot fabric and heels and they were so cute. So it's really easy to change around the values of the boot fabrics and backgrounds to get fun combinations. Once everything is pressed, lay out the pieces so you make sure to get them in the right order. We are only five seams away from having a boot block done. I'm sewing the upper boot seams first and then I will do the heel section and then it will be helpful to press one more time before putting the two sections together. This pattern is a simplified version of a free pattern I found from Deborah Clutter Designs. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can see the original block. 
It's called the Kern County Fair Cowboy Boot Black. The original black shows the boot in two different fabrics, along with the heel fabric in a different fabric. I simplified it so there were just three fabrics total. So thanks go out to Deborah Clutter for a great cowboy boot black. If you check out her blog post, you'll see some boot blocks done in black and white with a red bandana print for the background. It was super cute. For these two sections, I press towards the long skinny rectangle and then towards the boot fabrics. Pressing from the back side helped me control where the seams were going a little bit better than pressing from the front. If the seams need a little convincing to lay flat, a little spray starch like Mary Ellen's Best Press Spray will help immensely. One last seam and the boot is done. Honestly, I had no intention of making a cowboy boot block quilt, but once I started making these little boots, they were so fun to see how they turned out that I just kept going. And I have maybe six or eight blocks done now, but I am gonna take this project slow and work on it a little bit at a time. This block was our lottery block at Quilt Camp. And for every block that they made, they could add their name to the drawing to win all of the blocks. We had so many blocks, it was such a hit, that we had enough blocks for three different winners. So congrats to all who played along, and especially to our winners, Jolaine, Isla, and Connie. We look forward to seeing how they put them together someday. There are three ways to get the pattern. Number one, you can screenshot it and print it at home. Number two, you could push pause and take notes. Or number three, you can join our Facebook group called The Quilted Forest Friends. We have a file section where you will find the pattern to download and print at home. We hope that you will hit the like button, leave a comment for us, share with your quilting friends, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and happy quilting!